Hello everyone, I am Hari Hadoop Online Trainer from Great Online Training. Today I am going to start Hadoop Distributed File System. Before proceeding to watch this video, please go through my previous videos. So as I explained in the previous video, Hadoop has two core components. One is Hadoop Distributed File System that is the storage part of Hadoop and the second one is MapReduce which is the processing framework. So now I am going to explain the basic building blocks of Hadoop distributed file system. So I am going to next slide. Blocks. So what is a block? Block is a smallest memory chunk in the file system. So simply it is the smallest memory chunk which can't be divided further in the memory file system. So if you consider a hard disk of some 500 GB or 1 terabyte whatever in our regular Windows file system and let's say uh, one of the block is 4 KB or one of the chunk is 4 KB. So like this it is divided. So why I am dividing it as 4 KB blocks? Because the Windows file system has default block size that is 4 KB. That means if you are storing uh, a file it will be divided into 4 KB chunks and it will be stored respectively in, the, in these 4 KB blocks. So suppose if I want to store 20 KB file so I need to make it into chunks of 4 KB that is 5 4 KBs or if it is 10 KB then you need to divide it as 4 KB, 4 KB and 2 KB. So you need to divide those 2 4 KB chunks into 2 4 KB blocks in the file system and the other 2 KB uh, memory or chunk also in some other 4 KB block and you can't use the remaining 4 KB space in the block. So that is one of the disadvantage of the Windows file system. So similarly Hadoop or HDFS is also having a block size that is 64 MB. Okay something like this like the same way how it is in Windows. So after you install Windows in your laptop or in your desktop wherever it is then only you can access the hardware that means you need to install the software on the hardware to access the disks or whatever. To make the storage as HDFS you can install Hadoop on top of the machine so that the HDFS will be installed on the machine. That means if you install Hadoop, HDFS and MapReduce are the core components. So that will come by default. So here the 64 MB is the default block size of HDFS. So why there is so much difference like for Windows file system it is just 4 KB and for HDFS it is 64 MB. There, there is huge difference. Why it is? Because HDFS is meant to store huge files, not small files that is in the volumes of KBs. So generally it will be in the volumes of gigabytes and terabytes. So that's why the default block size is 64 MB and there is one more advantage here. You can define your own block size. Okay. So it is not mandatory that the block size is 64 MB only but the minimum block size should be 64 MB and the block size can be integral multiple of 64 MB. That means the block size can be 64 or 128 or uh, 256 something like that. So integral multiples of 64 that means 64 into 1, 64 into 2, 64 into 3 something like that. So this is how you can define your own block size based on the uh, situation. So these are what the uh, points I have discussed till now. The files are divided into small chunks and those will be stored in blocks. And the minimum size of 
the block in HDFS is 64 MB and the block size should be integral multiple of 64 MBs. Okay, now we'll see uh, Hadoop demons. Yeah, so these are the five major Hadoop demons. Those are data node, name node, secondary name node, task tracker, and job tracker. So the bold ones are the master nodes and the normal ones are slave nodes. That is name node, secondary no name node and job tracker are the master nodes and data node and task tracker are slave nodes. That means they will run on slave nodes. So if you see data node name node and secondary name node these three i'll be explaining as part of sdfs and i'm going to explain task tracker and job tracker while discussing about map reduce and in this hadoop building blocks i'm explaining data node and name node and about secondary name node i will explain in the later classes of hdfs okay so, so what is data node? A data node is the slave daemon or slave node which will store the actual data you want to store in Hadoop. And name node is the master node or master daemon which will store the metadata. It is not actual data. So what kind of metadata it will store? That I will explain. So basically these are Hadoop daemons. A daemon means it is a framework or software installed on the hardware. So that's why we will call it as daemon. So data node is a slave daemon and name node is master daemon. Basically the HDFS will follow master slave architecture where name node is the master node and data node is the slave node. So let's see the picture of name node and data nodes. This is the basic architecture of HDFS. How uh, the data node and name nodes will be there and how the data will be stored. Those things I will explain. I am explaining now. So here is the name node. As I told you name node is the master node which will store the metadata and these are the data nodes D1, D2, D3 and D4 those will be storing the actual data which you want to store. So as I told you, data nodes are slaves. So they should listen to master and they should report master. That means here they will send heartbeats to name node saying that, hey name node, I'm alive. So because they need to report name node saying that they are alive. So they, they are ready to use. So that what name node will do, name node will have the metadata saying that, okay, I have D1, D2, D3 and D4. These are the data nodes available under me. Okay. So this is how uh, uh, simple way of name, uh, name node and data node representation. And now we will see how to store the data in the form of blocks in the data node. So now I have a Hadoop client which want to store a 200 MB file into his DFS. And so what I need to do, I need to make chunks of 64 MB because the block size of my his DFS is 64 MB. So I need to divide 200 MB into four chunks because 364 MBs, that is 3 into 64, that is 192 MB plus 8 MB block. So there will be four blocks available. So let me call those as B1, B2, B3 and B4. These are the four chunks. So three are 64 MB and one is 8 MB. And now I need to store this into data nodes. So in which data node I need to store? I don't know. So those things I need to ask name node because the name node is having data about our metadata about data nodes that is which are alive. 
so i i will ask name node hey name node i want to store the blocks b1 b2 b3 and b4 so can you please give me the available data nodes in which i need to store these blocks then name node will tell like hey you can use d1 d2 and d3 and you can use uh d3 to store b3 and b4 and d2 to b2 and d1 to b1 so like this name node will reply so now hadoop client will store the blocks into respective data nodes something like this so b1 into d1 b2 into d2 b3 into d3 and b4 is also into d3 i mean that that will be depend on name node in uh, which block to store in which data node so this is how the basic uh, representation of storing a file into hdfs data nodes so hope this is very clear and this is not the exact way of storing blocks into data node because we have a one more concept called replication where you will store one chunk into more than one data node or more than one replica of each block you will store it that is what we'll call it as replication that i'm going to explain in the coming videos hope you understand the basic functionalities of name node and data node and how the client will store the data on data nodes thank you for watching if you like the video please hit the like button if you want to get more updates on upcoming videos please be subscribed to our youtube channel thank you for watching